What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Vito Oerlemans, I'm an astrophotographer and in this video I'm going to do a 1 minute, 10 minute, 1 hour editing challenge where I edit a famous deep sky object and in this video I'm going to edit the famous Meshe number 1 also known as the Crab Nebula. So not the Crab Nebula but the Crab Nebula. Crap, you know what I mean. So let me quickly explain the rules of this challenge. I'm going to edit for one minute, 10 minutes and one hour. And after each editing session, I'm going to show you the resulting photo as it is at that moment in time. So I'm ready. My editing software is ready. So let's go. And if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. Let's go. The Crab Nebula or Meshe number 1 is a magnificent supernova remnant in the constellation Taurus just above Orion. It's packed with colorful gas filaments, a spinning neutron star and the remains of a star that exploded nearly a thousand years ago, a must shoot for astrophotographers. Unfortunately, with ongoing cloudy skies in the Netherlands, I used remote data from Telescope Live, captured in Spain with a massive 70cm Officina Stellare RC telescope and a QHI 600 monochrome camera with Astrodon LRGB filters. For this challenge, I already stacked the monochrome images and I will attempt to combine them into a stunning color photo. Let's dive in. Okay, fix in sight, fix in sight. Oh. All right, so let's load up my project. Project, project, project. Some processes already here on the right hand side for me to use. Let's open up the mono images of the Crab Nebula. Crab. Crab. Nebula. LRGB, so this is a broadband picture. It's going to be a broadband picture. L R G B. Already look quite good. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let's put this one minute right. First challenge, one minute. And let's start. Oh, okay, 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 R, G, B, oh yeah, first thing to do is linear fit, linear fit, linear fit, let's see, R, shit, I can't see it, 50, R, G, okay, G is much further around, B, okay, I'm going to fit, okay, 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 linear fit, then you fit to G. Where is the okay? Oh my god. Uh, R? 15 seconds left. No. <laughs> and the okay. B. Okay. Uh, LRGB integration. Uh, R. G. Come on. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Let's see what we got here. So I only fitted the data to the green channel. So linear fitting basically means that I place uh, red, green, and blue on the same histogram level. Um, so let's stretch the image. Wow! Well, actually, I expected worse. So, yeah, the Crab Nebula here is showing. We see still a lot of noise and uh, blurry, bit blurry picture still, but the Crab Nebula is clearly visible. Um, not too bad for a one minute editing session. <laughs> so, okay, one minute. Well, oh, I cannot use. All right. 
So, yeah, let's reset to 10 minutes. Right, 10 minutes starting now. I removed the linear fit from the first challenge and opened RCS Bros Blur Exterminator, which is a popular Pix Insight add on tool for sharpening your stars and nebulae. Blur exterminators should be used early on in the editing process when the image is still in a linear state. I created a preview window to test different settings on a small part of the image, as applying it to the entire picture can be time consuming, depending on your processor or graphics card speed. Alright, let's run this. Seven minutes left. Seven and a half minutes left. Okay. Oh, this is taking up a long time. Blur Exterminator, come on, let's do it. Before, after, before, after, before, after. After applying Blur Exterminator, I applied background noise reduction. To select the background of the image, I first made a clone of the monochrome image. For masks to work, you first need to stretch them in Pix Inside. Lately, I've been using a free add-on tool called Easy Soft Stretch, which is part of the Easy Processing Suite. I like this tool because it shows a live preview and gives you control to set the medium, low point and aggressiveness of the histogram to stretch your images. After stretching the image, I applied it to the monochrome image and reversed the mask to protect the stars and the crab nebula. Finally, I applied another add-on tool from RC Astro called Noise Exterminator to reduce that background noise. Noise Exterminator... Oh, five minutes left. 17.30? Four minutes, Kies. Time's moving fast. All right, this looks good, this looks good. I cannot do anything more, I only have four minutes. Uh, okay, I'm happy with this, I'm happy with this. Uh, okay, preview, gone. Let's save this one. S, R, B, X. And X. Okay. Yep. I had just four more minutes to apply the same blur extermination and noise reduction processes to three other monochrome images. So I focused only on the green and blue images, leaving the luminance as is for this 10 minute challenge. Yay, yay, yay. Yay, yay, Come on. Come on, come on, come on. 40 seconds. I cannot create a mask anymore. <sighs> Come on. Okay. Uh, mask. Run. Okay. Oh, 18 seconds. Seriously. Uh, mask invert. Uh, noise exterminator. 10 seconds. Oh no. Come on. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. 10 minutes. Um, let me just integrate the three pictures here. And let's see what we have. Okay. Are we ready for this? I'm just going to do a stretch here. Oh! <laughs> I didn't have any time for the linear fitting. So this is image 17, yeah. 
So here you can see I didn't have time to linear fit the three pictures. So you see that the green is on the histogram is much more towards the right than the blue and the red. So you see that the green is showing here a lot more as compared to blue and red. And that's why we get this distorted image of the Crab Nebula. Okay, kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Okay, let's reset to one hour here. Okay, one hour. And let's go. I began the one hour session by saving the RGB processed linear images and applying the same blur exterminator and noise reduction processes to the luminance image. Then I used Easy Soft Stretch again to bring all the images to a non-linear state. After that was done, I made sure the stretched RGB images were lined up like disciplined soldiers on the histogram before combining them into a glorious full color image using the LRGB combination process. And here it is, the combined color photo I ambitiously aimed to create in the previous 10 minute challenge. It took me an extra 20 minutes. Guess precision isn't always a sprinter's game. Very actually. Next, I double checked the color calibration in two steps. First, I selected the dark background preview and applied background neutralization. Then I created another preview of the Crab Nebula and used the first preview as a background and ran color calibration. Still unsatisfied, I applied SCNR Green to notch the green channel slightly towards the left on the histogram. The result? Almost identical to the original color image I showed you earlier. With only 36 minutes left, I ran the free StarNet 2 add-on tool to separate the stars from the Crab Nebula, creating a starless image. I saved the star mask, used Curves Transformation to boost the nebula's colors and saturation, and I tried an HDR-like boost with local histogram equalization. With only 30 minutes to go, I started to worry again. Once I was satisfied, I recombined the starless image and the star mask using pixel matte to create an overall final image. Okay, create a new target, RGB. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, 20 minutes left. I have this. Uh, looks okay already, I think. Okay, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Alright folks, this was the challenge for today, I hope you liked it, uh, I actually learned quite a lot and let me know in the comment section, did you ever edit the Crab Nebula yourself or do you want me to do another challenge on another deep sky object? Please leave your comments and suggestions in the video description below. Also, for those of you who joined my channel, I will make the full resolution picture of the Crab Nebula available for you and you can join the channel by clicking on the join button below this video. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. Clear skies!